Welcome to another YouTube tutorial. Amazing Brian is name. So today I'll be showing you how to retouch your picture from the very start to the end. If you find this video interesting, you can actually hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get more video. So we'll be retouching this very beautiful portrait, um, which I did. After importing your picture, the first thing I really do is to duplicate my picture, which is um, on Mac is Command J and on Windows is Ctrl J. After which I resize my picture to Instagram size in order not to lose quality while I'm uploading it. So I crop to 4.5 and I move on. The next nice step which I do is to take out any blemishes on a face which is which is basically um, obvious. So I make use of my patch sorry I make use of my spot um, healing brush to take out any blemishes. Now, while taking out blemishes, it's also important to note that um, you don't you don't tend to remove all the blemishes from her face, because by doing so, it's going to make her look very artificial. So basically, you take out the ones that are very pronounced, the ones that you think um, your eyes are going to see automatically. So you just take out the ones that are very obvious while you leave the rest, so the face doesn't look like she's a cartoon all it's not realistic so if i'm done with that i go straight to my retouching academy frequency separation 8 bit i make use of 3.5 and I dive in now when it comes to frequency separation we need to understand this thing um it has actually helped us expand everything making us have the texture layers and the correcting tune layers in order for me to actually correct this tune well what i do i make use of this um, black and white I take down the red to zero or one if it's okay by you. Now the reason why I do this is because I want to be able to see where I have my shadows, where I have my mid-tones or where I have my highlights because it is very important you know where these things are why actually brushing the correcting tune so you do not miss up everything. Remember, the goal of retouching is not for you to fake the picture, but for you to enhance the picture. So that's why I always advise when you're retouching, especially when you want to uh, work on your correcting to make use of the black and white because it enables you to, to see where you have your highlights and where you have your shadows. Now, the possibilities, maybe you're good. Uh, you can actually easily identify it you may not make use of this but trust me i have been using this method for quite some time and it has been working for me so it's at uh, wasting much time let's dive into the brushing uh, you change your brush to a mixture brush and i'm brushing on my correcting tune and go remember while you're brushing all this try to keep um highlights in highlight places don't brush your shadows to highlight and don't brush your highlights to shadows in order for you to know how to brush it's um it's a technique that you learn over time don't think you just uh, pick up your mouse or probably a pen to brush and you're gonna get it for the first time no you need to 
practice you need to develop your skill over time you now become used to it that you can actually brush effortlessly yes now you can see here we have our shadows I basically I'm not taking my shadows over to the oh um, sorry we can see here we have our highlights and I'm not taking my highlight basically to where the shadows um, are just basically brushing where highlights are keeping the highlights where they are so your picture actually looks original and not fake Now once you're done brushing, um, you turn off your black and white layer to see what you've done and to make sure that everything is okay. Now if you're okay with what you've seen, you can continue. If you're not, you can do your final touches to make sure it's actually giving you what you want. All right, so I think uh, I'm okay with it, so I can move ahead. So what do you think? What do you think? Good? Yes, we are. Okay, so I'm done with this. Next thing I do is I merge my low frequency and correcting tune. Now, it's not a must for every one of us to do such a thing because most people don't actually make use of portraiture or skin finer but i make use of um skin finer because it gives my my picture this very cool feel it's optional though if you don't want it you can ignore but if you are someone that actually makes use of skin finer I think you can actually apply it to make your picture look more good or better. And so we are done with this. 
Now the next thing I do is I move up to color grading. Um, this is basically the simplest method you can use to actually color grade your picture. Why some other people make, make use of some other things and make use of selective color as the basic color grading tool ever. Trust me, it's, it's, it creates a whole lot of magic. Now, um, I'll go to properties. And I always start with my black. So I push in the black a little bit. Now you can see what's happening. If you take it, you're yeah, taking away the black, you see what's happening to I just push in the black a little bit and um, I move up to my neutral and I push in the neutral a little bit. Also, let's say three and move on to yellow. And push in my yellow. Push in my black. I push in my yellow, and move up to red. And I do the same thing for the red. And I think I'm okay. So let's see our our before and our after. You can now see that your image is actually popping out before after now after my color grading i whiten the eyes now when it comes to whitening the eyes and teeth there are different methods you can use now some people make use of uh, vibrance you take down um, the vibrance and saturation you invert it it becomes um it brings back the color then you brush the eye so people make use of the curves but personally i already created an action which i use to whiten my eyes and my teeth which is this don't worry i'll be um i think i'll give out the action so enough probably when this video hits 1000 view i'm going to give her this action so let's see what um uh, we've done so these are before these are after um good enough to make it pop now another thing you can actually do to make your your eye pop is by increasing the brightness let's let's pop our eyes a little bit increase your brightness and then um, control eye so you go to where you have these colors and your brush this way and do the same thing and let's see uh before and after let's see before after so you can see that um, the eyes are popping so let's take it down a little bit so let's see how we can pop out the eyeshadows most people make use of vibrance but i have my action which i created already that i'll be using like i said when the video hits uh, 1000 views and 50 comments i'm going to give out some actions you see without even wasting much time it's popping before after let's zoom in so you we we'll see before after if you're not okay with it you can always increase it see why you need this action 
is very powerful and the beautiful thing is i can also use this action on any other thing in my image let me show you uh let's go back to yeah an answer uh, let's see let's see watch this yep you can see the difference it's colors are popping it's more sharper than the way it used to be So I can use this for anything I want it to pop out a little bit. I can make use of it. So you can see the difference. And boom. We're well, good. So let's see our before. See our after. Now pay attention to this pattern. Let's see. Before. After. Now this is beautiful. This is actually beautiful. Now remember when um, we're touching a picture, you only enhance the picture, but you do not change the person. It's very important we understand that because what most um, claim photographers do is, okay, I'm a retoucher and at the end of the day, they tend to spoil the person's face. So, um, if I'm okay with this, let's see what we've done. We're starting from here and we are here. So if I'm done, if I'm, if I'm, I'm okay with what I'm saying, the last thing I do is I sharpen my image most people use other methods to sharpen an image but personally i have found out that this method has been working for me over the years so i don't have a reason to change it except there's a new development so i practically use sharpen image on my retouching academy and it's giving me a great work so let's see our image you can see this is very sharp this is very clean and um it's too much so i have to turn it down a little bit so you don't have your picture end up cracking and here we are voila is that easy so if you find this video um helpful you can actually drop a comment and like and subscribe to my youtube channel now if you want me to talk about any other thing you can actually drop a comment and let me know or you can send me an email or you can visit my instagram page and send me a dm and i promise you i would reply so until next time voila